morning, everybody, and welcome to day one of Hometown Throwdown here in Portland, Oregon. We've got game one, day one, and uh, I am joined tonight by Ron Pak Shakur and also by Puns and Roses. We are super excited to be here this evening uh, to watch and to narrate, tell you all the fantastic things that are happening with game one here, which is going to see Axles of Annihilation take on Angel City's Rocket Queen. Um, before we get started calling the action down on the track, Ron Puck, who's skating for the Rocket Queens tonight? Oh, so I'm going to represent the Angel City Derby squad. So I got 1-2, Donna Diggler, 1-2-5, Harlem, 2-6, Schadenfroh. We've got Zip pulling out lead jammer this first jam of our first game. Yeah, juggling going inside and outside, and that's a lead jammer racking up four for her squad. Adriana Macias crush heading to the penalty box early in this first jam. It looks like that was a sexy star pass to Jack right here for the initial, but Rose City does break the bread first for an 8-0 lead. So as I was saying, we are at 360 Chargentina, 39 Cracker Jack, 415 Champagne, 462 Youngblood, 626 Gremlin, 777 Perfect, 805 Helen Killer, 86 Bad, and 98 Mally Webster. Sounds like we've got a pretty good, uh, an awesome lineup actually for the Rocket Queens this evening. And here we go with Jam 2, and we've got Evan Helical wearing the star for Rose City Rollers and Alkali Metal wearing it for uh, the Rocket Queens. Yeah, definitely Metal is one of those jammers that could really starstruck and highlight this team for this uh, squad. You'll see her put up some points as well. And there's, like I said, that's a lead jammer There she right is, there. lead jammer. We've got a couple of people headed to that Bud Light penalty box. And it looked like we have a star stash on uh, RCR. That is even Helical wearing the star. Yeah, so both teams have two members in the box, so evenly matched right now. Evenly, unevenly matched. <laughs> unevenly matched. <laughs> <laughs> so quickly, while we have a couple of seconds for Axel's Annihilation, we have Zip, Liv Baders, Andrea Macias, Katie Quick, Hound, Beans, Gingerath, Polly. Toxic Haste, Evan Helical, Big Bang Fury, Tegan and Scaria, Ripley, Liquor and Split, and Rosemary's Baby all skating on the roster to this evening. So both of these teams have seen each other twice in the past year, I think. AOA has taken the win on both of those games. So I think the Rocket Queens have probably come into this game really wanting it. AOA, Polly getting lead jammer this jam. Uh, definitely last year, filling at champs, Rose City finishing at third, and then Rocket Queens finishing fourth. So they definitely know each other's each other's games. They do. And speaking of those B team jams, those are going to happen in Denver this yes. year, is what I hear. Both jammers out, and it is a race down there. Polly still out ahead. Pack is speeding up. Polly hoping to grab a few more points before calling that jam, which she does. Yeah, we Although to. not holding the Rocket Queen scoreless, that jam. Definitely, every point does count. But I was just, uh, I was just one uh, mix right three, there. One mix right Rose there. City. For great Rose work. City. I just see the replay. Great work. I just see the replay. Polly on this one. Rocket Queens are going to start this jam with one blocker in the box, it looks like. So a little bit of pack advantage for the Axles of Annihilation. Jamming for AOA, we have Zip again up against Harlem, wearing the star for the Rocket Queens. Zip battling at the top of the pack. That was Helen Killer that Zip was struggling to get past. Yeah, going through that two wall, not a problem for Zip. Going through turn one, looking inside. Oh, coming back outside, meets a wall of defenders at ACD. Looking for a bit of offense from her team, receiving it, but unable to capitalize on it. Still manages to capture four, which is great work for her squad. It looks like Harlem's still on her initial, working all the way to turn three. Ooh. Getting hit to the inside and recycled back to the back of the pack. 
uh, just going through the gauntlet, you just see bodies flying over bodies. It's like, oh, soul crushing for a jammer. So much just people <laughs> over there at the far side of the track. Zip coming through for another four points, making it a 12-point jam so far for AOA. And we have a successful star pass to Perfect. Perfect takes the star. But Zip is just running through the pack and manages to score another four, but Helen gets a hit, but just still passes the hits and gets four on that. It looks like she got a whip off of Ripley there at the end, which slung her out into the front of the pack. Tonkin.com, the largest selection of new and used autos in the Pacific Northwest, is only a click away at Tonkin.com. Ooh, hearing your dulcet tones is so nice. <laughs> it's like you came out of nowhere. Why, thank you. A <laughs> little bit of jostling for lineup down there. And we've got Evan Helical up against Lucifer this jam. Evan Helical making short work of that Rocket Queen defense getting out and picking up lead jammer. Both teams walling back up. Lucifer looking for a star pass to the Angel City pivot, and that is completed. Yeah, it's a Jack. Jack picks it up, and then looks like he's trying to raise his score. But while that's all happening, yeah, Rose City definitely get there for Evan Helical appears pretty unconcerned that uh, Jack has, you know, re-entered at the back of the pack. Doesn't seem interested in calling the jam at this point. Yeah, last line of defense by Champagne. Champagne. But, yeah, Evan just says, nope, I'm still going to score. Cracker Jack trying to uh, get a little jammer on jammer hit there at the end. Unable to complete it. Just working so hard against those AOA blockers. Trying for the inside line. Getting knocked out. And pulling the cut track I is what I was afraid of. Yeah, you could get that deadly X and you already know it's coming. Yep. She thought she was going to get a no pass, no penalty, but not quite. Yeah, we could have saw her a mile away from here, just passing up the tripod defense. So, And we have a direction of play being called on, that would be Nacho. That's what I thought it was. Couldn't see that number for the longest time there. And actually, that was, that was, that was toxic. Number 31, taking a seat in that Bud Light penalty box over there. Even Helical, meanwhile, continuing to rack up the points. Now at a 16-point jam. Yeah, definitely Rose City's taking commanding lead right here. This could be the highest jam of the night, or she's just trying for it. <laughs> Although a nice little hop, skip, and a jump there by Jack up the inside line got her around uh, all of that blocker frenzy down there. <laughs> Although, unfortunately, Rocket Queen's being held to only four points in this jam. So taking a look at that scoreboard right now, now there's that replay. Yeah, Jack trying to get through, but you can see it. Pushes that That's Rosemary's long. baby really Ooh. holding her up there at the front of the pack, that last line of defense. So we've got a score right now of 49 AOA to 9 points Angel City. And down on that jammer line, we've got Polly up against Schadenfreude. So Polly is a lead jammer. Definitely. Getting around perfect there at the end. Yeah, great O oh, by Rose City. They definitely know tactical ways like Pushing that O oh, right on ACD. Yeah. Schadenfreude are really not very far behind and capitalizing on uh, some wide open lanes there as people were jostling for position again. Yeah, racks up two for her squad. Got four, so we definitely get some points up. You know, I'm being a homer wearing my ACD gear, so trying to root for them. But long trip here, and yeah, this is awesome. I know. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> up here and announcing with us. That's amazing. And the great thing about that last jam was that not only did Schadenfreude pull two points, but she did they did force off or force the call off from AOA, yeah, which is more important. Exactly. Yeah. Wearing the stars this time, we have Tegan and Scaria for AOA up against Alkali Metal. Yeah. Both teams really seem to be locking down their defense a little bit more, although when everybody's getting agitated, things do seem to start to fray a little bit, and I think that's where our jammers are really capitalizing on uh on some of those openings that happen yeah. yeah i see that happen but great defensive work way to just waterfalling in on the top pack right there as you can see 
Alkaline Metal pushing on that gauntlet as well, but man, Rose City just great with that defensive work. Yeah, but the Queens, look at them hold down Yaya there. They're just not letting Yaya get an inch. Yaya did look for some offense from one of her teammates there, but it just was not quite perfectly timed enough to allow her to get through. Yeah, Yaya's and trying to look inside, outside, but both gems working hard, just trying. Lead is still up for grabs, but as I spoke, there goes Yaya for the lead gem. Alkali Metal looking for uh, some help from Bad. That seems like that's five in a row. Lead jammers for AOA. Yeah, Metal still on her initial pass, trying to get through. Uh, man, great defensive work by Rose Well, and City. at one point, Metal there was pushing against four AOA blockers. <laughs> I can't believe that that's easy. Star stash and pass to Cracker Jack. Tegan Iscaria on the outside line there, making it look easy, yeah. as only these jammers can. <laughs> but going the whole two minutes, that's never easy. No, that is a rough jam. <laughs> Although I have to say the weather this hometown throwdown is far better than previous ones. It's not 100 degrees in an Easy Bake Oven here. It's actually quite pleasant this evening in Portland. I was told by your crew, by Agent Meow, that there was 125 when you had a Gotham throwdown bout right here. That and I'm like, may have Ooh. been last year. <laughs> I guess we brought that California breeze. <laughs> so nice. Thank you for that. Oh, Zip finding her way through, picking up lead jammer for AOA. And we got blood right here getting stuck by this pack. That is Ripley and Toxic. Really locking that down with a side of beans, actually. Oh, with the last minute defensive hit by Helen Killer on turn two. Recycles reduced, reduces all the way back to the pack. Zip looking for a second to see if that was going to be, if she needed to recycle all the way back or if she should call it. That doesn't matter. She still racks up her force. Back so. on through. Yeah, Jungblood just not having some trouble by Rose City's defense. AOA is just really put it on that grind. Man, advantage ACD, but that doesn't matter because Zip still scores four. We got one in the box for Rose City. And it looks like the Rocket Queens are attempting a star pass here. It is complete to perfect. There is the call off. I was wondering if that was going to happen as Perfect made her way back around to this side of the track. Looks like we have a conversation happening with some refs down there, and we do have a team timeout being called for the Rocket Queens. This is a great time to hear about some fun stuff that's coming up. Why, yes. Yes, it is. So we've got some uh, playoffs coming up. Amazing. Oh, it will be. Definitely will be. We will have the WFTDA Continental Cup North America West, August 9th through 11th in Orem, Utah, hosted by the Happy Valley Derby Darlings. August 23rd to 25th will be the North America East Continental Cup in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, hosted by Dutchland Derby Rollers. September 6th to 8th will be the first of the WFTDA playoffs. playoffs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Winston-Salem, North Carolina, hosted by Greensboro. Uh, September 13th to 15th will be in Seattle, Washington, hosted by RAT. Uh, the Continental Cup Europe will be October 5th and 6th in Helsinki, Finland, hosted by Calio. And November 15th through 17th will be the International WFTDA Championships, Montreal, Canada, hosted by Montreal Roller Derby. That'll be a good time. All of those sound like a good time. I think maybe I should check my frequent flyer miles, see if I can afford a ticket to any of those places to see that happen. Yeah, catch up with friends, watch some playoffs. Right? Maybe take in some extra different weather. So back to Derby that's actually happening right here in front of us. We've got Evangelical and Harlem both wearing the stars this jam. Evangelical has gotten out and is lead jammer. Um, although there is quite the scrum of players down there in turn one. 
Evangelical not having any of it, busting on through. Um, and it looks like we have a star stash and pass happening for Angel City again. Yeah, they're trying to form it in and just like initiating that star pass, but it looks like we're having some trouble with that. AOA pass. is keeping that pivot away from that star. It looks like we do have a penalty being called. It looks like Harlem just keeps the star and says, you know what, I'm going to push through and I'm going to get my grind from my team. So. Pack is moving a little bit faster, not anymore. Those blockers did seem to get a little loose there uh, right as they came around that turn, but everybody seems to have tightened back up and has reformed into their uh, really nice uh, triads there. Yeah, I believe that was a forearm call to Diggler. Gets sent to the no-no box, so that's your penalty box for you. The no-no box. <laughs> Yeah, you'll hear me reference that once or twice just because uh, 30 seconds is really hard for the other team to take advantage. So It is. A lot can happen in 30 seconds. That is for sure. So AOA with a small pack advantage right now as that Angel City blocker is sitting in the, the penalty box. Uh, Evan Helkel goes ahead and calls it. It gives them a little bit of strategic advantage on this next jam uh, where AOA will be starting with five on the track versus Angel City's uh, four. Yeah, great work by Rose City putting up 20 on that jam. That could that be us the lead of the night. I think so. 20-point jam, the longest so far. I'm getting a head nod from puns in the corner. Union Wine Company with Underwood Wines, delicious wine in a convenient can. Grab one at a store near you. Polly and Lucifer down on the track. Polly just dancing up the outside line, finding herself as lead jammer, although Lucifer on... On her heels, really. Yeah, stride for stride, just saying, nope. And then the pack looks like they're speeding it up, so great strategy there. But Holly looks to score and manages to get one. Not going to chance it while the pack looked as disjointed as it did. Went ahead and passed her one and then called it off. Yeah, with the, we're under 15 minutes here, plenty of time, but man. AOA's taking that commanding lead of 94 to 15. So, well, you know Angel City better than any of us. Are they a second half team? They do make some adjustments, definitely. Um, you know, everybody's nerves are wrecked the first half. Sure. Probably, but, Takes a while for people to settle into the game, get those jitters out. But definitely, AOA has some lockdown defense. I could tell this tripod well, but as we speak, we finally get a lead jam. And that's our second lead jam of the night. I was told. I'm like, man, tough, tough beans for ACD, but we're, we're going to score right here. Yaya yeah, coming back in uh, pretty hot, actually, and hitting her knees there at the, at the end. Great hustle by Yaya, yeah, and looks like puts a three for her squad. So definitely they're working out there. All but that, uh, effort, right? Yeah, exactly. So 3-3 three, three for both teams. That jam does sort of make it a void jam, I think. <laughs> Nobody really gaining any ground on that one. Um, but three points, definitely better than no points. Of course. There's our whistle. We've got Zip up against Alkali Metal. Alkali Metal getting uh, a little bit of a suck back there at the beginning of the jam to back behind the, the jam line. Yeah, great offensive work by Captain Beans. And Captain Beans says, oh, there's your O, and there you go, Zip, for that point and oh, for that lead gem. And that is Beans being sent to the penalty box on a low block, and it also looks like we've got another star pass attempt. Yeah, from metal to perfect, so. Oh, that one didn't take any time at all. I didn't even see it happen. If it wasn't for puns giving me the signal. <laughs> That's why three eyes are better than none. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> three pairs of eyes up here. Well, and he's running his stats over here, which is really nice as well. I love when somebody does the math and I don't have to. <laughs> Bud Light, grab one today. Dilly, dilly. Dilly, dilly. Dilly, dilly. <laughs> oh. Man, great defensive work by Jack hitting outside. Yep. Holly with a little outside tap there by Jack. Oh, Although not effort. really slowing Polly down at all. That was a, a pretty 
big hit by Angel City. I think that that was Champagne yes. there at the end. Yeah, Polly absorbed that hit and says, you know what? I have grit and I have grind. I am going to take this lead jam. Uh, oh. One of those matrix moves almost. It looks like we have a power jam, so we're going to go the whole we two do. minutes as a back block. Back. That is Polly being sent to the penalty box on a back block. Angel City could use it. We can. Let's hope that they can capitalize on it. Let's listen to me. She's going to try to rack up 10 or 12 and 20. We got something on this jam. Blood getting hit out there to the inside uh, by Beans. So, oh, work by the Rocket Queens trying to put blood on somewhere. Um, seeing some daylight, but great waterfall and reforming by Rose City. So. Yeah, Angel City really need to bring some offense there to help uh, blood through. In the world, I believe all jammers say, please give me that oh, somehow, some way. Star Sash and pass to Cracker Jack will be our jammer of record. Polly through basically backwards. Moonwalking. <laughs> yeah, picking up another four points. And since we did have a jammer penalty on the lead jammer, this will go a full two minutes. Ooh. But Polly, great footwork. We've seen a transition. Polly's got amazing footwork. Yeah, I appreciate Apex Jumps, footworks, and big hits. So you'll see me chime in here. Please. <laughs> And there it is, more backwards, <laughs> footwork, skating through. Ooh, just like she's passed on the outside, outside turn, and how many points? Picking. None? None? I thought that, for sure, I thought it was going to be a four. This I is why so. you and I are not refs. <laughs> it's why we only call the action from up here, and we have no actual bearing on physical gameplay. Yeah, I just saw that replay. Man, Polly's just definitely put it for her squad. Vincasi is RCR's new craft beer partner. Grab some at a store near you. There is our whistle, Evangelico and Lucifer, both wearing the stars. Everybody's sort of stuck on that jam line. Yeah, great defensive work. They're all putting up this tripod wall by ACD, but the lead pack is going to Eva Halco. So, yeah, and that is toxic. Uh, getting some O in there for Eva Halco, hoping uh, to open that pack up and allow her to get through. Yeah, there's a chance for the lead for ACD and Lucy. And is... oh, couldn't quite keep it in bounds. So Lucy is Lee Jammer, but was recycled back to the back of the pack. So once we're gaining that momentum, man, Rose City just shuts it down, and we're behind the pack, but Lucy working hard goes that's, inside. Yeah, and that's Ginger F and Beans who are really giving Lucy a, a hard time there at the back of the pack. So manages to escape the gauntlet and then goes through the for her scorn pass. Evangelical with a star stash, but no pass. There's the call off. Rocket Queens holding AOA scoreless that jam. Two Town Cider, damn fine cider made here in the Pacific Northwest. That is actually what would taste really good right now is a Two Town Cider. Second time AOA. And that is actually the second jam that AOA was held scoreless. We have Zip and Harlem on the jammer line. Zip is on the top of the pack. What, seven for seven? <laughs> Zip making short work of that pack again. And you can see how the O gets produced on turn two. Yes. Oh, Zip getting bumped to the inside and recycled by Chargentina. Well, Harlem still having some trouble by AOA, but man, that's tough. Zip just says, uh, -uh I'm still going to score. And that is Katie Quick and Liquor and Split that are really making life hard uh, for Harlem down there. Yeah, you can see the communications working out, that tripod wall is working out. They're just not giving no daylight to Harlem. Oh, interestingly enough, Rocket Queens apparently have not fielded a pivot. Man, I don't know what's going on. All you see is just shiny helmets, no stripes. No stripes. <laughs> no stripes at all. 
Oh, Licker and Split with a big hit to the inside there on Harlem. Although it did cost her a forearm penalty. So Licker and Split will be taking a 30 second cooldown. Oh man, a lot of action right here going into That was three. a great drawback uh, by Angel City there on Zip. Yeah, I believe that's 626 six Grim. Oh, and a late forearm call on Zip. She was looking for it, though. I think she knew it happened. <laughs> she had that guilty face. Yeah, the look back that, is it, is it me? <laughs> it's me. So uh, for the second jam in a row, we have the Rocket Queens in a power jam, and... Rocket Queens will be starting the next jam in that same power jam as Zip did take a seat in that uh, Bud Light penalty box late into that two minute jam. WSL Leadership Coaching, helping you be more awesome in your work, sport, and life. So we got this. Howard Jam by Shannon Freud representing the Rocket Queens. And we do have a pivot for the Rocket Queens this jam. <laughs> so there's our whistle. Schadenfreude down there. Trying that outside line. And there is just so many people. We do have Zip standing in the box right now. Yeah, AOA putting this jam kill up. Great strategy. Just buying some time. But we do manage to get lead right here. Ripley taking a seat in that penalty box as Zip re-enters the track. Schadenfreude's met by a wall of AOA defensive and, work. And Zip not currently wearing the star, although not looking to pass it either. Schadenfreude through, picking up four points for their team. While like Perfect takes a seat, looks like there is a star pass for AOA. Big Bang Fury now our uh, jammer of record, and that is the first star pass for AOA this game. Yeah, Big Bang Fury looking why her name is that. Goes Big Bang through. Fury yeah, does not jam very often, <laughs> but when she does, uh, she can put up some amazing points. Schadenfreude again getting hit to the inside by Ripley. Yeah, you could just feel AOA's defense just always great performing, knows what to do. Yes. Track awareness is all there, plus, plus, plus. <laughs> that was Helen Killer looking for a, a hit on Big Bang Fury as Big Bang came around. Look at Zip playing some defense as a jammer. <laughs> Zip can do it all. <laughs> Shot and Freud at meeting Toxic Haste there and just stopping. That is Toxic and Ginger Aff being joined by uh, by Zip in that tripod. And we have a little less than four minutes left in this game. We have a score of 136 Axle of Annihilation to 38 Rocket Queens. Both teams seem to be, oh, although it was a 12-12 jam, so it was another null jam. Um, but both teams do seem to be locking down their defense, maybe getting some of those game jitters out and starting to play a little bit more cohesively. I'll be interested to see what happens in the second half. Liv Bader's didn't even get to finish saying her name before Liv is out picking up Lee Jammer, Alkali Metal wearing that star for the Rocket Queens. Uh, Liv Bader trying to lose the outside. Cracker Jack took, took her to the outside there. Yeah, that's always tough when you're trying to come back in, shake him down, and trying to shake him. That's there we go. Point. Liv Bader just yeah said, I'm going to get my four. Helen Killer rejoining the pack. So Angel City now with uh, their entire complement of players, including their pivot. Um, looks like we had a star stash, no pass. Alkaline Metal is still our is still our jammer for Rocket Queens. Next jam is going to see us have Tegan and Scaria up against number sixty-two. Oh, that's Youngblood. Youngblood. Okay. Eight oh eight. Food's so good it straight broke the mouth. Two locations, Burnside and Woodstock. You know, I've never actually made it 
to 808? I should. Give it a test run. <laughs> I talk about it all the time. Tegan Iscaria picking up lead jammer. Yeah. Young blood still fighting against that pack. Although I saw it come and found just a wide open space on that outside line. Oh, Through on initial. And Yaya headed to the penalty box on a cut track. Ooh, so advantage right here, power jam. So we definitely need this advantage and want to capitalize for blood. Blood getting through, dipping down, dipping high. But it is the third or fourth jam in a row that is going to go for a full two minutes. Work. That's what yeah. these jammers are doing. They're going to need that halftime to, to recuperate some of their energy. Youngblood pushing hard against... It sort of looks like everybody right now. Yeah, Ripley just going one-on-one, -on -one, a two-wall right now. Yep, Ripley and Gingeraff joined again by uh, by Toxic. Yeah, just like I said, textbook defense. What a reform. And just that, ball. yep. Constant. Just constantly in that jammer's face. Gingeraff holding down the bridge with Beans. Ripley is that last line of defense for Youngblood. Going to have to let her go. Youngblood picking up four. I have to appreciate that defense. It's just solid. I'm just going through and AOA managed to hold uh, Youngblood down long enough for Tegan and Scary to come back out on the track and start scoring points again. Yeah, just like when we think we have the advantage, it just gets closed up by your defense by 808. AOA just looking really nice, but Helen Killer is two on Mally just locking right now. It's Yaya, and Yaya's just working. Gets, Gets those hips through, going backwards. <laughs> Whatever works. And once that happens, there's no stopping Yaya. <laughs> Yaya looking for that hole down there that uh, that Beans made for. And that is the end of that jam. We've got maybe one more jam happening. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. There we go. We are here with a 15-minute intermission. Our score at halftime is 150. Axles of Annihilation, 46. Rocket Queens. So first half, what you think, Nom Nom? I mean, pretty good. Once the teams both sort of got the that first time or the, the first few minute jitters out, sort of start calming down, settling into the game, settling into their skates, it seemed like people's defenses really got a lot better. Um, but definitely both teams were able to capitalize when those packs sort of started getting a little loose. True. Absolutely. I just feel like ACD, they'll make it up here, but Rose City got it figured out. That whole half, they show why they're dominant. They show why they have the lead right now. It is uh, definitely apparent that um, AOA has been probably watching a lot of footage <laughs> of Angel City and seeing exactly what their tricks are because it seemed like AOA had their number every single time. Exactly. And you see uh, so many star passes that were happening. So Yeah, but that's one thing that Angel City has in their favor, right? They're not afraid to go ahead and pass that star when they know that they're not getting through. Yeah. So I think we actually saw most of um, the advantages for uh, Angel City when that star pass happened. It seemed like we were able to get their jammer through a little bit better and um, and really make some, uh, some strides. So here we are, Ron Pack. We are back uh, getting ready to start our second half here in about just under two minutes, it looks like. Uh, hoping that both teams got a little bit of a rest during that halftime and coming back well energized. There were multiple jams that were two minute full jams where both jammers were working all out against both packs. Um, so. What's your takeaways from that first half? Like we mentioned in the beginning. You saw what happened. Right. I think that both teams are going to need to lock down their defense uh, a lot more to at least hold, um, or at least Angel City is going to have to lock down that defense to be able to hold AOA scoreless. I think that that's probably going to be one of the best things that they're going to do. And then again, capitalize on those star passes, yes. uh, which they started having really, really good success with at the end of the first half. Um, but I think that they really just need to get their percentage of lead jammer up. Exactly. Your lead, you win the game. It looks like one person on clean game um nobody's penalty heavy the game itself has not been penalty heavy Shout yeah. out to the refs they're doing an amazing job as well oh my goodness <laughs> the ref and crew here uh at rose city rollers um is 
A plus plus. Pretty stellar. <laughs> yeah, we've got really good refs and really great NSOs. Um, we've got really great volunteers. Um, I can't wait actually for an opportunity to come down and see you guys and uh, see what your hospitality has to be for us. Oh yeah, we're always at the warehouse. I'm one of the voices there. We're always welcome, Nam Nam. Oh, Just wonderful. <laughs> But an amazing game. So 150 to 46. Rocket Queen's got to come up with a great plan here because the deficit is pretty large. So. I would really love to see the Rocket Queens uh, not allow AOA to go for a three-peat on win. Make it interesting. <laughs> yeah, make it interesting. Um, the last two times that these teams have come up against each other, AOA has uh, skated away with the win. Um, so I would love to see. Uh, I'd love to see him win this game. Honestly. Well, we'll see. But this is the home crowd. They get the home field advantage. <laughs> you know, I read a really interesting book not that long ago that said home field advantage. Uh, the only thing that that has to do is actually with the refs and that the refs play to the home team because they're the ones who are going to be cheering them or booing them. Exactly. Um, and that is the only thing that plays into home team advantage. Um, although I would like to think that our refs are incredibly impartial <laughs> and call it like they see it. Yeah. We're not going to say any scandals here. No nothing. scandals. No scandals. <laughs> There's no scandals happening in Portland. So here we are, jam one of our second half, and we've got Polly wearing the star for AOA and Alkali Metal wearing for Angel City. Polly does pick up lead jammer. I think every time that Polly has come up with the star, uh, she has gotten lead jammer. That is five times, I'm being told from my five. right. That's 100%. Yes. <laughs> there goes metal, but a whole lap behind. Yeah, and Polly going ahead and seeing that. And I'm wondering if they are going to try and conserve their energy a little bit more and just pick up the points. Although both teams, neither team picked up any points on that one. So I'm wondering what the strategy behind calling the jam off as early as uh, as Polly did was. Yeah, especially being a whole lap behind. And being 104 points ahead. Yeah, as you see the replay here, getting stuck right there on turn two. But Polly's putting in work, so... So here we are on our second jam, and we've got Zip up against Schadenfreude. Two excellent jammers um, from both teams. Schadenfreude, one of the few jammers that has been able to get lead jam in um, in this game. Schadenfreude has gotten lead jammer twice. Make that three times. <laughs> As you said, and Ripley goes to the box for a form called uh, Advantage ACD. So this is a spark we needed. And Zip right on Schadenfreude's heels. Schadenfreude telling everybody to, to hold still so that they can get through, I think. Yeah, definitely. We need these points. And Zip getting hit to the game. inside. Schadenfreude through for four. How, how do you feel about the, the loss of that jammer point in jams? Going from four I'm points to five or five points to four. I'll be really honest. I like the five in the sky because a jammer is an extra body where you're supposed True. to True. And I liked five points because it made for easy math. I'm all about easy math. Easy math. Forget the even numbers. Oh, man. <laughs> Zip getting held up there at the front of the pack by perfect. Yeah, recycles all, all the, way the way to the very back. Sean Freud getting knocked down and now having to face Big Bang Fury and Beans. Yeah, always appreciate And toxic. <laughs> See, the recycle reform is always reforming. Yeah, it seems like if AOA can get one blocker ahead of that jammer, that's just enough time to allow the other two blockers to come in and really make um, that super strong tripod that we see down there on the track. Although Polly is, or Zip, I'm sorry, is held up here at the back of the track, looking for some help from Ripley, not receiving it, but getting hit out again by Perfect. Some offensive work by Helen Keller right here, trying to help Shot and Freud trying to get through. But Mally Webster was holding that bridge for the team. Shot and Freud through, picking up another four points. Now, in terms of this game, that was a fairly amazing jam as Rocket Queens capitalizing on it, getting lead jammer, holding AOA down to only four points. Um, all things considered, that was probably one of the better jams we've seen out of. So perfect. As we're seeing everything else, we got Lucifer on the line. And I believe Tegan and Scaria. Tegan and Scaria. Lucifer looking for that inside and not quite getting it. 
And we have a forearm being called on the Angel City Pivot. Jack. That's why I'm so happy you're here. You know who all these people are. It helps to watch this, these skaters, what they do. But we also have Charge and Tina headed to the box on a, a penalty that I didn't see. Tegan yeah. and Scaria picking up lead jammer, but being followed very closely by Lucifer. Lucifer actually getting out ahead of Tegan Iscaria, forcing uh, Yaya to go ahead and call that jam off. Yeah, great pressure. This pressure is brought to you by, what is it brought to you by, pun? <laughs> Black Cat Plumbing, your local neighborhood plumbing company and a proud sponsor of RCR. Pressure in your plumbing is definitely, I mean, I <laughs> guess it depends on where the pressure is. If it's in your shower, that's good. If it's in your pipes, Ugh, drains, not so good. Not fun. No. <laughs> not fun. Evangelical and Alkali Metal. Evangelical. Yeah. Just easy. saw a little disorganization. Made a break for it. Yeah, advantage Rose City just because we got two in the box for ACD. Oh, yeah, there is that. <laughs> so, you know, 5 3 has a tendency to, to impact some things. Uh, we definitely got some great blockers there, but not enough because ready to score at will. Although, Alkali Metal, again, there for a moment having to face off against four Rose City blockers and that is that is a chore ah, tough it's going through the gauntlet even helical sliding out to the front of the pack looks like we have another star stash and pass on rocket queens even helical calling the playoff for the O trying to skate through but we're moving up on ACD and there's the call off Two? All right. I thought past one, but I guess the one in the box counted as two. So. <laughs> All right. That works. <laughs> and as you see the replay right there, even how Helco just turned to just do a major forward. Buffalo Gap, Saloon, and Eatery. John Slamming's favorite Eatery and Saloon. Now, Buffalo Gap is good. I've been there plenty of times. As have I. They have lots of vegetarian stuff, lots of paleo stuff, and just plain old good old burgers. Right. And good tots. Always good tots. tots. Every time I think of tots, I think of a Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> you know, I always think of Polly as a, a diminutive jammer, but every time Polly is out there jamming, she just pushes so hard and aggressively, um, you know, and, and as you can see, jammer. Great footwork, mood walking right there on turn two. Youngblood being held up there in turn two, while Polly has made, I think, two scoring passes. Yes. So this will be a, this will be her second scoring pass. Yeah, great offensive work by AOA. Basically, they hit the jammer out. Mali couldn't come back at the same time getting hit by AOA. Looking for another star pass or a star stash. I just see no star for Angel City right now. Polly picking up another four. Smooth outside, inside skate footwork. Like I said, appreciate all those little highlights. Watching these jammers work down there makes me realize why I never could have been a jammer. I just, or if I would be, I guess I probably would have been like the wrecking ball type jammer, but like, definitely not like the finesse jammer like Polly is. It's all right. I think that's what's happened in a derby now. You see like a wrecking ball jammer. I mean, all body types. Yeah. All Any, body types. Anybody could be a jammer. Exactly. If you want to do the whole two minutes. Didn't and... want to. <laughs> uh, Liv Baders and Lucifer both wearing the stars for their respective teams. This jam. Looks like they're having a little. Lucifer picking up lead jammer. Uh, first time for Lucy. In this half? At all, I think. Oh, she's had it two other times, lead nice. jammer? She's had it one other time. This is the second time that she has gotten Lee Jammer. Uh, Liv like Bader's getting run back. A penalty call to Lucy. That's a direction to play on Lucy. That is going to leave AOA in a power jam. Although another two-minute jam. Yeah. Liv Bader's coming around. AOA had a goat for a second there on perfect. But Perfect said no. No. No goat. <laughs> but Liv Bayer, man, just taking advantage while we're just on the box. So Lucifer standing. Lucifer coming back to the back of the pack. 
That is Big Bang Beans and Ripley ready for Lucifer as she comes back on. Yeah, pushing that whole tripod wall. It gets yeah. through. Nice. Gets through really, really well. There must have been a wide open uh, lane there on the outside that we can't see from up here. That makes it look really easy. Liv Vader's looking for the call off, but then realizing that there, they there, are there. not, <laughs> that there is no leaf jammer at this jam. We'll go the whole two minutes with 20 seconds left. But picking up another four points. Nice hit again from Perfect. Perfect really uh, making life hard for AOA jammers this game. Yeah, when you see a glimpse of daylight, there goes Perfect. Just trying to knock out, ooh, but gets knocked out by her own player. Oh, uh, Angel City trying to grab the cut track on Liv Vader's there, but Liv Vader's not taking that bait. Yeah, smart move not to do that. So we are here with a little over 20 minutes left in this game, and we've got Axel sitting at 187 points and Angel City sitting at 65. Moving to Portland? Let Deb at welcometopdx.com help you find your home. That is Deb Counts Tabor. Honestly, coming from Cali to here, my wife always wants to move out here. Really? But I can't deal with that rain. I'm sorry. There is a lot of rain. Uh, but fortunately, we are not in a rainy season right now. Um, and Schadenfreude picking up Lee Jammer. Neither of those things have anything to do with each other. <laughs> um Raining for the lead. That's what's happening. Ooh, Beautiful. Like I said. Apex jump there. Inbounds. Yeah, I always appreciate that. Shout out for it. Works hard to do that and makes it look easy. Zip trying to uh, hop, skip, and spin around some of those Angel City blockers, uh, but getting hit to the inside in the meantime. Ooh, shot in front, just rumbling, stumbling on her own. Looks like Liquor and Split joining um, the scrum up there with a hit out and running Schadenfreude back. And that is Katie Quick now and Liquor and Split. Yeah, it looks like Bad was trying to come back to play some hoe, but it wasn't working for the AOA players. And now we've got the pack that has actually come back to turn two. I just see bodies right yeah, here. Yeah, we have a good vantage point, but can't really see what's going on down there. Oh, oh. oh there goes Zip and breaking Zip the Zip is gauntlet. through, picking up four points. So even though Schadenfreude does have lead jammer, uh, Zip has gotten 12 points this jam. I'm unsure why Schadenfreude hasn't chosen to call, um, but that is Liquor and Split being called on a multiplayer block. Yeah, sense of the box, but yeah, that's just odd. Maybe they just want to rack up as much points for the last three seconds right here. There's the two minutes. Todd and Fred are looking very, very tired after that jam. Soul crushing. <laughs> Soul crushing jam, exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm an announcer, not a jammer. Heck yeah. <laughs> So 202 to 73. And puns, what do you got? Tickets for the 2019 International WFTBA playoffs and championships are on sale now with discount codes available. Get your tickets and codes today at WFTBA.com slash tickets. Yeah, Thank you. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, why not? I want to see these playoffs, but looks like Metal's trying to play the defensive work as a jammer to even that huckle. I don't think Montreal's that far away, is it? Uh, yeah. No, it's eh. not too far. Depends on where you're coming from, I guess. Although both of us are West Coasters. Yeah. Evangelical picking up a lead jammer. And we got mandatory beatdown on the penalty box. So they manage AOA right here. Evangelical skating through, picking up another four points. There is a star pass happening for uh, Angel City. That's Helen Killer. Helen Killer, first time wearing the star. Evan Helical going ahead and calling that jam off before Helen Killer can uh, re enter the back of the pack there and start racking up some points. 
Yeah, you'll see some of the Rocket Queens playing tomorrow's bout with the Hollywood Scarlets, so. There are so many good games that are happening this weekend. Yeah, There might only be three teams up here for Hometown Throwdown, Portland, Denver, and L.A., but the six games that are going to happen, <laughs> there's not a single one that I'm planning must on missing. See. Right. Must Every see. single one of them is a must-see game. So there's the whistle, and we actually have a pretty fast-moving pack there at the beginning. Tegan and Scaria picking up lead jammer. Yeah, while Blood is just getting worked right here by the defensive work. Rocket Queens, oh, Tegan and Scaria going for the apex jump, but doesn't quite make it, gets recycled back by Jack. And that is Jim Giraffe and Hound that are causing so many problems down there with a little side of Adriana Macias. Full course meal? <laughs> Full course meal of blockers. Yeah, they've just been doing so well. I, I don't even think anybody's in a penalty trouble from AOA. So. Mm -mm. The only one that I think may have some who may be up there is Liquor and Split. <laughs> Maybe at three or four, uh, but definitely not in any danger of, a, of an ejection. Exactly. So top of the pack right there. Tegan and Scaria flip it around backwards with a late hit from mandatory beatdown. Not really a late hit, but... Yeah. Oh, there goes a good star pass from Blood it's a star to pass. Jack. Jack is wearing the star representing the Rocket Queens. I've said it I've said it before and I'll say it again that Angel City's uh, star pass game is actually really, really strong. Um, I appreciate that they know, again, when they're not going to be able to get through and they have no uh, vanity or pride about, ch about handing that star over. Yeah, what's the worst is when you pass the star and there's blockers in front of your pivot and you're just <gasps> like, why? Why? <laughs> this didn't help. Um, shouldn't have did that. <laughs> what else they shouldn't have did, Pun? We'd like to thank our sponsors, the Portland Mercury and Shebop. Polly and Harlem wearing the stars. Polly again taking that outside line. Eight for eight. Oh, a nice late hit by Perfect. Pretty sure that that was going to be a penalty. <laughs> yes, as you saw. But <laughs> well, Harlem means to skate through, but is a lap down because Polly is working and passes the Polly, last line. Polly may have just been tripped by her own teammate. Doesn't matter. Doesn't stop Polly from scoring. Laurel Hearst Theater and Pub bringing the best of classic and modern cinema to Portland. Yeah, I just saw that replay. You see Perfect hitting the outside to Polly and saying, oh, I'm going to let Polly knew it, too, when she got hit, that that was going to be a penalty <laughs> on Perfect. But Perfect, again, not in any penalty trouble, was willing to risk it. Yeah, sacrificing her body, so that was awesome. Oh, we try to see, like, a two-jammer fake yeah. out. Yeah, it was a little fake out, but... AOA was inviting, so. Evangelical and Lucifer again. This jam, Evangelical working at the top of the pack, looking for some offense from Hound, receiving it, and pulling out lead jammer. Yeah. Been calling her number twice all day, too. Evangelical just looking outside, bumping on the textbook defense by ACD. Yeah, even Helco was looking for that outside again, but saw ACD like setting up for that bump out and chose to just go straight up the middle. Yeah, way to hold their ground because the wave was about to happen. Yeah, absolutely. I thought I saw a late penalty. I did see a late penalty being called. Unsure what it was, but somebody's taking a seat in the sin bin. Sin bin. <laughs> The friendly people at Echo Construction love custom home building, remodels, and roller derby. Yeah, they do. We do, too. Everybody loves roller derby. And Sean and Freud is loving roller derby as well. Trying can, to get Sean, that can Sean Freud make it 100% on their lead jammer status? Liv Bader's is like, oh, oh looks like we're switching packs. Like, yes! Schadenfreude picking up lead again this jam. That is three in a row for Schadenfreude. So Schadenfreude looking to score. Setting up the O is ACD. Somehow Liv Bader's made it through. 
and laps Schadenfreude. I wonder if Schadenfreude will take the opportunity to call this jam off or will again run for a two full minutes. If Schadenfreude goes for a full two minutes, then I firmly believe that they are embodying their name because that will kind of be Schadenfreude. <laughs> Look at the grit and grind, Schadenfreude. There is that defense again being locked down. Neither jammer really being able to move either one of those tripods. Liv Bader is getting recycled back by Perfect. And it's about now that I see some of the jammers really losing some steam. X. That's Toxic running Schadenfreude back again, trying to draw the cut on Schadenfreude. Unsuccessful. Man, we've just seen a lot of great defensive work right here in turn three. But out of the pack is Liv Vader. Big Bang Fury was really causing uh, some drama down there at the end of that jam. Connecting with everybody that they could. Yeah, great communication by Toxic. They know how to work the pack and work the tripod, so... I've watched Toxic skate for a couple of seasons now and I've been really impressed with them. Very impressed. In person, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Polly and Alkali Metal. ACD hitting Polly out early, recycling her to the back. And looks like Diggler getting in the mix, trying to block Polly, but Polly's just trying to get through, pushes all of the Rocket Queens. Holly with that lateral movement, just able to hit on the inside, hit to the outside, hit to the inside, hit to the outside. You know, working her way up, pulling out lead jammer. Juke, finesse, some hardcore hitting, and it looked like we got a star pass to Jack. Jack's been taking that star pass so off. So many times. <laughs> six times, it turns Ooh, out. Six Jack times. has taken that star as pivot. So, yeah. We'll, we'll seven look. times seven now. Times. I love that I just get numbers sort of flashed off to my right here. Great production by puns and, right here. And if, sometimes <laughs> I pick up what he's putting down, but not all the time. The one thing that I have not seen is timeouts. I haven't right. seen any official reviews. I was just going to say that. Um, I haven't seen any official timeouts. So all clean play right going on. Yeah, well, and neither team needing to take a timeout to, to slow down or, or catch Regroup, their breath in any yeah. way. So Zip picking up lead jammer this jam. Yeah, Zip also oh, had a nice sickness. bump out there at the back by Helen Killer and a run back. That Helen Killer uh, perfect combo is deadly. Might I say perfect and deadly? <laughs> killer perfect? Per killer perfect. Perfect killer. Yeah, definitely add that adjective to that subject. <laughs> Although Zip making short work of it, picking up four points pretty quickly. Yeah, Zip is just like working this tripod, but... Zip Rocket trying Queens. to follow Gingeraf through, but got through on the inside on her own right. Looks like we're going to star stash to a star pass. We have another star pass happening down there for ACD. And zip, zipping zip through. Zip on one skate. I'm unsure what your four means. It's amazing. Fourth time of something. This is Perfect's fourth time receiving the star on a thank, pass. Thank you. You should just jump in here. Chime in. With the headphones on, I can't hear you <laughs> at all. Great work, man. Zip is just... He's Zipping still, through. 20 is still the lead jam of the night. I believe so. Apparently it is. But doesn't matter. Scores 246 to 79. With a little more than seven minutes left on the clock, I don't see the Rocket Queens making up that difference, um, but maybe uh, closing that gap somewhat, leaving less of a ratio uh, between the two teams. Yeah, closing the gap, but AOA is showing why they are ranked up there with all the best of them. Liquor and Split providing some O, and then look at that. Tegan and Scaria through with a little help from her friends. Gotta love the O. Harlem also threw about a lap behind Tegan and Scaria. Tegan and Scaria really taking advantage of the fact that ACD was um, pretty spread out as she came back around. They weren't quite sure where they needed to be. 
taking his area through, picking up the points and calling off the jam. Yeah, it took it as like I could get the out of play, I could score. Right. I keep expecting somebody to call a timeout, and it's just not happening. I know. Forget the breathers. Secret Art Park, the local made flavor that kicks you in the mouth. I have a jar at home, or bottle, I guess, a squeeze bottle. A secret Art Park <laughs> sitting in my cabinet. It's tasty. Very tasty. <laughs> so, Polly and Lucifer. What is that? Eight for eight, nine for nine? We're counting. Yeah, Lucifer definitely trying to work, but man, great work by Polly. Ready to score. Nine for nine for Polly tonight. For Polly and Lee Jammer. That's nine. what I thought. It scores at will. Looks like we have a star pass down on the track to Perfect. That's five, if I'm keeping track correctly. For Perfect. Going in and calling it off. The next game I hope everybody sticks around for, that is going to be Wheels of Justice uh, versus uh, Denver Mile High Club. So those all-stars versus all-stars. There's going to be so much fun in that game. I think we were predicting that it was going to be pretty low scoring. Yeah, I'm predicting but, that, but with Lady Trample in the mix of the I know. Star. That's going to be, uh, that's gonna be a, a wild card almost. I have not seen uh, Denver play since Trample has been really? on their roster. It's just a different blue, but... Lady Trample still Lady Trample. Yes. So down on the track, we've got Evan Helical and Alkali Metal. Coming back to the bout at hand here. Evan Helical with a hop, skip, and a twist there at the apex, getting lead jammer. I think Evan Helical might be at 100% as well. Oh, great hit by Liquor and Split to Jack, but Jack absorbs and it takes that star. Evan Helical not at 100%, but pretty darn close to yeah, it. Yeah, we've seen the lead. Plenty of times this night. I believe Evangelical is six of eight as lead jammer. It's not a bad percentage. That still. is three quarters. That's seventy five percent. Oh, yes. Look at you. There you I go. Know. My uh, <laughs> neurons Backing like crazy. My neurons are are firing. Drop those percentages. Seventy five percent of the time, I reduced that fraction. <laughs> Carried some number. <laughs> Tegan Iscaria, Schadenfreude. Tegan Iscaria. Top of the pack. Top of the pack, looking for uh, some offense, receiving it. ACD unable to hold Yaya. Who can really hold Yaya? Really. But as we speak, they come back to play Owen and then release the Schadenfreude. Oh, wow. AOA making sure that every single one of those ACD blockers was occupied to let Yaya get through and pick up a quick four. Wow, that was great track awareness to take advantage of those points. What else they're taking advantage of fun? Rendered printing. Thanks to Rendered for the purple fan shirts that the first 40 attendees today received. I saw Rocket Mean actually taking a picture of those 40 attendees. Yeah, and those are nice looking shirts too. Hashtag RCR sponsor. So you gotta love free gear. I mean Oh, free gear is the best. Uh, one of my, my two favorite things to do here during halftime uh, are the t-shirt toss. Nice. And then the other thing that we do that fans absolutely love and that I love taking part in is the bread toss. So one of our sponsors is Fran's Bakery, and they will uh, oftentimes give us, oh gosh, what, like five pallets of bread? Uh, usually about eight pallets eight of bread. Eight pallets of bread, and we just get to sling them into the audience. You have <laughs> never seen people go so crazy for a loaf of bread as they do during the bread toss. Airborne um, carbs. Heck yes. <laughs> Although you have to make sure that the person that you are aiming at uh, is paying attention or yes. you will brain somebody with a <laughs> loaf of bread. I've done it. Yeah, so have I. Sourdough <laughs> to your face. <laughs> Whole wheat in your mug. <laughs> yeah, I had someone, the person next to them caught a loaf that somebody else threw just as I had one in the air smacking right, right in, the in the head. Oh, I felt Man. so bad. Like, nope, nope, that wasn't me. That Although wasn't me. France bread is so pillowy soft. Oh, it's so good. Oh, hey, Lucifer. Lucifer picking up Lee Jammer. Zip right on the, the heels of her skates. It is a Jammer race. Oh, big hit out by Katie Quick Katie as Q. both of those Jammers came into the pack hot. Although Super now they're both being held down. ACD putting up the bridge. Uh. It looks like that's a multiplayer call. All the charging right there to the penalty box. 
And we've got two in the penalty box right now. Teams are both pretty even. That is Liquor and Split standing in the penalty box. Again, one of the only AOA skaters, I think, who may be in penalty danger. Yeah, it doesn't matter because we're still trying to take advantage. Great pivot work right there. Bench coach for Rocket Queens telling Lucifer to go ahead and keep running it. Keep going. Yeah, just trying to pass the century mark for us. You got two minutes and 25 seconds to do it. Anything's possible. 86 is only a 14 point jam. 14. Look at you, math. I know, math wizard. I come alive at about 8 o'clock. There you go. <laughs> Killer Burger, home. Well, that is burgers, beer, and bottomless fries. Killer Burger. The bottomless fries make going to Killer Burger completely worthwhile. He doesn't so love, again, free after you paid. <laughs> oh, gosh. And so many carbs. So, Polly again, aggressively working at the front of the pack. Perfect saying, no, thank you. That killer perfect. Oh, combo. and oh. we knew it happened. We saw it happen. Easy call right there. Polly actually waving, it looked like, to uh, the NSOs in the penalty box. And that's a lead jammer. We got so Harlem. Harlem is not only lead jammer, but lead jammer in a power jam, which I believe is a first for the Rocket Queens. This is not a jam that will go two minutes unless Harlem wants it to go two minutes. Yes, Queen. Get that two minutes. Although now Harlem having to deal with all of the bodies on the track. Yeah, great jam kill strategy right here by AOA. Oh, nice big hit by Ripley. Run back by Big Bang Fury. Man, and that so allowed good. enough time for Polly to come back on the track and get around Helen Killer. Some O support by Perfect trying to get through his Harlem, but looks like Polly's on her tail. Polly taking a little uh, whip off of Ripley, unable to make it work because Helen Killer um, and Mally Webster just both seem to be right there. Yeah, Helen Killer and uh, Mally, they've been playing ever since they were juniors, so they know each other. They know each other well. real well. I always love hearing that of you know juniors who've come up together who are now on the same charter together, and because there's just such a great relationship chemistry. and yep. chemistry between the skaters that it makes the game um, really organic for them. Exactly, because it's all muscle memory once got the basics down right i'm all saying it like i do it but <laughs> but you watch it enough right yes. you're in you're in it enough that that you know that um and i mean every time that we've seen uh helen killer and mally um up together i mean they seem to be in the same in the same pod yes uh so obviously acd knows that they work together very very well As you can see um, on this replay right yeah, here there it is That was but that was the cut track, <laughs> and we saw that coming. Oh, so here is one of our timeouts. This Timeout time. is a great time to hear about some more things that Puns has to tell us about. Things you really need to know. There are only 3,000 tickets available for the 2019 Championships live in Montreal, November 15th to 17th. Don't miss your chance to get tickets at WFTDA.com slash tickets. You would normally think that 3,000 tickets is a lot, but when it comes to Champs, <laughs> yeah. that is not Sold a lot. Sold out. Sold out. Um, I remember when Champs was in Portland two years ago. Yeah, something like that, two, three years ago. Yeah, that Champs was in Portland, and oh my gosh, I have need, never seen so many raving Derby fans. It was actually one of the first years that I had been in Derby, was introduced, and so that was like the first real thing that I volunteered for, nice. and it was so awesome. You can't go wrong. So while we were jibber jabbing up here, Liv Baders <laughs> did manage to get the jammer. Also a little hop across the apex, left me a little speechless there. A little smile. And there we have it. We have timeout. Oh, a timeout at zero seconds. I saw the unofficial score come up and then I saw him back it Does back off. <laughs> Will we get it? I don't know if I've ever seen a timeout at zero seconds. Uh. I was watching the uh, watching the clock. I think they got that timeout up at right uh, on time at one second. Yeah, yep. and we got there one second one on the second clock. On one the clock, second. make it last forever. Yeah. AOA was ready to stop playing, and <laughs> now it looks like we're gonna have one more jam. Um, and at with that same timeout, it looks like it is an official review. Uh, Rocket Queens using their official review with one second left <laughs> on the clock. 
The pack is here. Get a four-pack of three-day tickets to either of the playoff locations for only $175. That is $85 off the regular price. Get your tickets now to the best events at Roller Derby at WFTDA.com slash tickets. Actually, in my budget, I have a WFTDA like slot nice. where I where I budget for things like these four packs and yeah. plane tickets to get to these championships. So worth it. So totally worth it. So we got this last jam here. And we have zero time in the period. There is a multiplayer block being called to Jack. On Jack. But with Evangelical picking up Lead Jammer with AOA so far ahead, there's really no reason for Evangelical to run this. Yeah, looks like that's a low block penalty served up to Big Bang Fury. That might be Big Bang Fury's first <laughs> ever penalty. I think so. So there is the call. There is our unofficial score. Axel's Annihilation, 285 points to Rocket Queen's 92. That was an amazing game. Amazing. Super fun. Um, I can't wait to stay and watch the next one. Um, Denver versus Yeah, Rose. Denver versus Woj. So there is our final score. We do have AOA with 285 over the Rocket Queens, 92. Both teams deserve major props for fighting it out, um, not only in the heat because it was a little warm, um, but just persevering. The, all those two-minute jams, yes. all those star passes. Um, really, both teams uh, are amazing. Yeah, there was a lot of great derby play that we saw. The score doesn't look like, but both teams were on the defensive end. And it's just that AOA was on top with their offense. And great work because you saw it all. Right. We, we compete with the best, and that's why we're top That's five, why you're top here. Ten. That's sure. why you're at Hometown, hometown Throwdown. Throwdown. 2019. Watching our skaters go around, give their uh, high fives. I yeah, appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Hope being the host right here for Rose City. Yeah, and thank you, everybody, for tuning out there on twitch.tv backslash WFTDA. Um, can't wait to see you uh, for our next game. Um, I Are you going to be down watching, spectating? Well, I'm going to be calling the game tomorrow. So awesome. So will be a couple of games I'll be in. And then we're here till Sunday, technically. Yeah, so <laughs> if you Twitch. happen to be coming into Portland in the next two days, Come on by, check out Hometown Throwdown, or continue to watch on the Twitch stream. Yeah, great uh, there's venue. A, yeah. Great place. So thank you so very much, and uh, we'll see you in the next game.